In the series of videos, we have been discussing about protein folding. Then we had a tutorial on chaperones in general, their functions and types. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about working and function of two major chaperone proteins. The first one is HSP70, also called as DNAK chaperone, and other being the HSP60, also called as GROW-EL chaperone. These both chaperones have diverse of functions in protein control system, while the protein folding and prevention of degradation of proteins is the main function. The difference lies in their time of activity. The HSP70 or the DNAK shows the activity during the early life of protein, or sometimes it shows co-translational folding, which we have already discussed what this co-translational folding is. Then on the other hand, we have HSP60 chaperone, which works after the protein has been completely synthesized, that's after translation. HSP60 or we can say grow EL in case of prokaryotes, this grow EL does not work alone to reshape the misfolded protein back to its normal conformation, but it works with the help of another chaperone called grow ES that forms the cap of grow EL that we are going to discuss later on what this cap and what this grow EL is. This grow ES forms the HSP10 in case of eukaryotes. And both of these chaperone proteins need ATP molecules to drive the protein folding or to keep the protein on folding pathway. Now let's see the working mechanism of grow EL grow ES system in E. coli that forms the HSP60 and HSP10 machinery in eukaryotes respectively. But in general, we say it's grow EL or HSP60 chaperone folding because the grow ES or HSP10 have minor functions in folding process, that is the capping function. Also remember that these chaperones HSP60, grow EL, grow ES are also called as chaperonins. Now in the working mechanism, this grow EL chaperone is a barrel shaped in its 3D structure. The grow EL has capacity to take in the proteins into its hollow space, into its cavity and we know these chaperone are translated during stressful conditions of the cell and it's when the proteins get into misfolded states or gets off of the folding pathway the grow EL takes in the protein and the protein binds to the hydrophobic patch on the interior side of open cavity of grow EL. After that the binding of ATP induces a conformational change that allows association of another chaperone protein called the grow ES that forms the cap of grow EL. Now we have a complex chaperone system here that has embedded that has included the protein to be folded to its correct conformational state. In these series of reactions, hydrophilic environment of the chamber favors the burying of hydrophobic residues of the substrate, what we call as hydrophobic collapse. Thus helps in refolding the molecule back to its native state. When the protein is correctly folded, another event of ATP hydrolysis occurs which causes the grow ES, that is the cap of the grow EL protein and the encapsulated protein to be released into the cytosol. And finally with these chaperones we get the correctly folded protein that was misfolded before or incompletely folded. So this is how the grow EL ES chaperone system works in what we called as HSP60 in eukaryotes. But the HSP60 chaperone does not only play role in protein folding, it has many other functions to do of which the following are the important ones. The first one is the mitochondrial protein transport. HSP60 possesses two main responsibilities with respect to mitochondrial protein transport. It functions to catalyze the folding of proteins destined for the matrix and also maintains protein in an unfolded state for transport across the inner membrane of mitochondria. And other important function of HSP60 chaperone is that it's immune response modulator. Why we see human HSP60 has ability to stimulate the immune cells of innate immune system to release cytokinase. As it was experimentally shown that human HSP60 induces a pro-inflammatory response in mouse macrophages as well as in human monocytes. This is all about the structure and working mechanism of chaperone in what we call as grow EL or HSP60. In the next video, we'll be discussing about HSP70 chaperones and their working mechanism. You can support the Hussein Biology on Patreon also. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.